So let me get this straight. The Leafs have won 10 out of their last 11 games? Yep. And the one game that they've lost over the last 11 games is the game that you went to. Uh, yeah. You have a gift. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, a little ridiculous. Good boy. Play on the hit! Left Toronto Maple Leafs. Let me finish. How am I supposed to go to bed after watching that? I'm quite hyped. With you wherever you are, welcome to LFO. Puppies, you're gonna get big, buddy. Oh man, you're getting so good at that. Jack Campbell rubbing off on you. Ah, look at all of us believing again. Ah, screw it. I'm ready to get hurt. Leafs win two to one over the New York Rangers. I really like this win over the New York Rangers. I really do because I tell you what, another very tight game with a different context. The last time that the Leafs played the Rangers, there was a little bit of, I, I made some of you mad. I made Rangers fans and Leaf fans alike mad for making the same point. I didn't think the Leafs made Igor Shesterkin work that hard, even though he had to make a lot of saves. That game was one in which both teams played very tight and the Leafs lost. A brand of game that the Leafs really stuck to to begin the season. I'm gonna say in their first six or seven games, they had three of those. But now, here they are victorious over the New York Rangers who have been really good this season and since that victory and all of a sudden it's a tight battle between two of the hottest teams in the league obviously a bit different from the nine goal experience we had against the Buffalo Sabres a couple nights ago so let's talk about this game and we don't need to go 18 minutes that's the thing with not having to edit my videos anymore I, I sometimes lose track and Drew I'm very sorry and also Rob because you have to transcribe them and oh my god I have so many people to apologize to I will say this Saturday's LFR video, not my problem. Nope, no it's not because I'm saying it now. I'm saying it now on Thursday night. The Leafs play in the Pittsburgh Penguins. Saturday night, the first time since the Leafs lost seven to one against a penguinless Penguins team. A lot of you seem to like that video. It's around 200,000 views because you like to just see me lose my mind. Well, tell you what, win or lose that video will be the hat guy LFR. I'm gonna give him the reins. Are you serious? It, yes, I am. He, it's just gonna be the kid's table. I'm letting him do it. He gets to do it, no matter what. That's, well, okay, if something really serious happens, then uh, maybe not. Otherwise, it's all his. You asked for it. You raised over $50,000 for Easter Seals Ontario, which is a charity that means a lot to me, and I promised so. Hat Guy will get his own LFR on Saturday night. His first solo LFR since I think season six, and this is season 15. Some things have changed. Also, before we talk about the game, I just want to thank everybody who congratulated me on the anniversary of the Leafs losing 9-2 to Nashville. Funny enough, that video just crossed 300,000 views, so, uh, thanks. That was during LFR 8, and I couldn't help but notice that this year, the wins get a lot fewer views than the last! Geez, even on the Sportsnet channel, Dangits get more views than hat picks. What if you're just a bad person? You ever consider that? Nah, you couldn't be. Not you. Nah, you no, you're here right now. No, you're great. It's the others. I know what you're saying. Anyway, now, finally, let's talk about the game and how Morgan Riley is the biggest discount in the NHL. To start this game, the fourth line, pretty good. Jason Spezza with an interception in front. He gets a backhand opportunity. Doesn't go in, but good start. And then very soon after, Wayne Simmons, a great effort behind the net just to win the puck, and he keeps it on his stick, makes a pass to Morgan Riley at the point who fires it on and gosh does it feel good to be vindicated because what did I say hmm hmm what did I say forget what I said what did Sheldon Keefe say because what I said was the Leafs didn't make Shesterkin work hard enough even though he faced a lot of shots because people were saying gosh the Leafs got so many clean looks and what Sheldon Keefe said was yes yeah, some of those looks were too clean, which to me indicates the Leafs offense was not giving Keefe what he wants. Would you like to see what he wants? I can show you. This is what he means. Thank you, Michael. I said this going into the playoffs last year because everyone was like, whoa, whoa, whoa Carey Price. And there's a great reason to say, whoa, 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 Carey Price. He's an extremely good goalie. But if you take away his eyes, he's just some other guy in goalie pads. And Leaf fans, whoa, it's just jerking. And, and if it's not him, it's Georgiev. Isn't it weird that both Rangers goalies seem to haunt the Leafs? Or is it that maybe the Leafs make goalies' lives too easy on a lot of nights? Oh, I guess Shesterkin's just the boogeyman? Take away his eyes. 
dies and I promise he becomes just some man. Michael Bunting, he sort of kicks up his foot and people were talking about whether or not he redirected it. Right now on MapleLeafs.com, it's still Morgan Riley's goal. I choose to believe it's Morgan Riley's goal. And instead of giving him the goal, Michael Bunting gets what I call the Daryl Boyce assist. That's where you don't touch the puck, but you got a good screen in front and good for you. Now the Leafs head to first intermission with the one nothing lead and overall they had a really good, really low event first period, at least defensively. They didn't generate a whole lot offensively, so that was a little concerning, but for the most part they held the Rangers at bay. Until the final six minutes or so. Rangers had a decent little flurry, they got about five shots in like a minute and a half span, and Gauthier had a really good opportunity in the final minute there on the wraparound. Jack Campbell equal to the task. Wipe your brow, pretend like you're not panicking, and we head to the second. About halfway through the second, the Leafs head to the power play, which I'm happy to say, as of late, is something that I'm actually happy to see the ah! Okay, a pass gets picked off at two on one for the Rangers, and Rooney shoots it, and oh. The, the way Campbell just gloved it, it made me wonder why I was panicking in the first place. Like any other goalie would glove that and then look at me and be like, you're dumb forever panicking. Except Jack Campbell would never call you dumb. He'd just be like, it's all right, man. It happens to the best of us. And I'd be like, can I have a hug? And he'd be like, yeah, but you know, after, after the game, if that's all right. And it is all right. And so are you. And the Leafs are still on the power play. Top unit still out there. Tavares down on his knees. The Rangers trying to clear the zone. Austin Matthews playing the point actually does a really good job of holding it in. He feeds it over to Morgan Riley. And I gotta say, I love what the Leafs did here. I love what Riley did here. Dog owners, does your dog ever like not need a walk? but you look outside and go, gosh, it's nice out. You don't want to overtire them, but you're like, no, no, you're getting another walk there, bud. And he looks at you like, me? And you're like, oh, I'm Santa Claus with this dog right now. He loves me. And you're setting yourself up for failure because you know he's going to expect to. Anyway, where was it? You know when it looks really nice out and you're like, I'm going to take him for a walk. You know when it's really nice out and you're like, I'm going to take him for a dub. I, I call it a dub because a lot of dogs know that word. This is Morgan Riley with the puck and all the time and space in the world. And instead of firing a wrist shot at a defender's shins, which is what the Leafs defense has done, for a solid two years now on the power play. He's like, why don't I walk it in? I mean, their defense appears to be concerned about William Nylander. He's pretty good. They're concerned about Mitch Marner. He's pretty good. This space is probably still gonna be there in a few strides. I'm gonna use it. And the darndest thing happened. He did! Riley walks in, Riley toe drags it, and Jacob Truba did his post-game interviews from the Lost and Found where he was trying to find his jock. Woo-wee! Drew. Hat pick? I don't know about hat pick, that's at least in the maybes. Oh, is that a nice goal from Morgan Riley? And you know Shesterkin and the Rangers are just like, can we never come back to Canada ever again, please? Yeah, that game against the Flames, they had an all-timer of a goal from Connor McDavid. And then this from Morgan Riley, not so bad either. To be clear, I'm not comparing it to the McDavid goal. It's just, it's very nice. If we start to compare every goal to the McDavid goal, we're all gonna be disappointed. But all of a sudden, Morgan Riley's got two goals and three goals in three Three games because yeah that makes sense why not why not sorry I haven't done one of those in a while wanted to see if you were on your toes why not be happy that the Leafs are up to nothing and another little stick tap to the fourth line there because it was Dryden Hunt tripping who Jason Spezza leading to that power play the Leafs allow seven shots in the second period just like they did in the first the difference was instead of getting five shots of their own they had 12 so all right the Leafs have held the Rangers to 14 shots through two periods that's really solid. Against the Predators, Campbell did get a shutout, but he only had to make 24 saves, and right now, he's on track to have to make fewer saves than that. So would the third period be a low event, peaceful affair? Listen, they're on a nice hot streak, but you can't have everything. 14 to 13 were the shots for the New York Rangers in the third period, doubling up their entire game total in the third alone. Is that bad? Well, I can tell you it's not good. Now just watching the highlights back, obviously I watched the TSN feed because I live in Canada, but on the sports on YouTube page, we have the highlights from the MSG feed. John Tavares with a nice one-timer early in the third, and it stopped. And on the MSG feed, we got the oh, remember that save treatment. And I love when the commentator says remember that save because you rarely ever have to remember that save. Unfortunately, in this case, we did. Because about two minutes later, Dryden Hunt is left wide open. He slaps it home. He gets his first as a member of the New York Rangers. And guess what? It's a one goal game with 16 and a half to play. 
not great. Now, when I initially saw this goal, I was like, oh man, the Leafs get caught puck watching. And then I watched the replay, and in order to be puck watching, you have to be watching the puck, and not all these guys are. Michael Bunting with his back turned to Dryden Hunt, Austin Matthews in a position that would be useful if he was the goaltender, and he wasn't, and he didn't stop the puck, and it's a shame because, well, now I'm nervous. But after that, I gotta say, decently peaceful. Artemi Panarin does get a breakaway with about eight minutes to go, but TJ Brody, just on that pony, scatters back, forces Panarin to just shoot a backhander that Jack Campbell should be able to stop every time. In fact, after that, I'd, I'd say it was the Leafs who actually got closest to scoring with Michael Bunting and Wayne Simmons jamming away at the puck. And ironically, Panarin got a look, a clean look. Truba got a look, a clean look. Maybe a bit too clean. And the Leafs win their 10th out of 11 games. Jack Campbell's last four games, zero goals against, one goal against, zero goals against, one goal against. His last game giving up more than one goal was November 8th against the Kings. Yes, a game that I went to, because of course. And Morgan Riley with his first multi-goal game in a couple years, way to go bud. This shouldn't be weird though, because when he got his 20 goal season, the Leafs power play was really good and really dynamic and he was part of that. And now it's that again. This is my thing when people are like, ah, he sucks now. Like no, hockey players don't just forget. More often than not, it's like an injury or something changes around him. And I think with Riley over the past few years, it's been a little bit of both. See, I'm nice to Morgan Riley. I wish he was the same to me. Questions. Jack Campbell, top 10 all time Leafs goalie, right? Okay. All right. Got roasted for this a little bit. We had a clip up on SDPN, the SDPN YouTube channel from uh, the last podcast that we did on Wednesday where Adam Wilde asked the question, is Jack Campbell already a top 10 all-time Leafs goaltender? And the responses from many people are like, this is why people hate Leaf fans. This is why Leaf fans are the dumbest and blah, blah, blah. Not listening to the fact that within the first minute of the clip, Jesse Blake and I, who were the two people asked the question, both responded, no. Listen, Jack Campbell is on one of the best streaks of any Leafs goalie ever. Maybe the best 30 game stretch of any Leafs goalie ever, or at very least top 10. But you cannot play as few games as a Leaf as Jack Campbell has on a team that has been around for over 100 years and just walk willy nilly into the top 10. Oh, there's space for him to be in the top 10. Right now he's on pace to be in the top 10, top five even, but Let's simmer down. Over under 3.5 goals by Mark Donk on Saturday. All right, you, you, you listen here, all right? First of all, Mark Donk is not gonna be scoring the goals. He's gonna be feeding the goals to Teddy Bluger from Riga, Latvia. My voice cracked. Is it, have I lost? Have I lost the, Riga, Riga. I, I can't do it. Okay, I gotta have uh, coconut oil in my coffee tomorrow. I gotta soothe podcast on Friday and then it's the stream on Saturday. Listen, all right, the Penguins have Sidney Crosby back in the lineup. The Penguins have the Penguins back in the lineup on Saturday, which means the Leafs have a chance. Either way, you get an all hat guy LFR on this YouTube channel that night. Also, watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle. I'm Steve Dangle on the Sportsnet YouTube channel. We're gonna be streaming the whole game, my reaction to it in a little box, and the game on the screen. That's how it works. You can just Watch the game. You gotta listen to me, but you can just watch the game if you're in Canada. Make it available in the States! We will, once they make that not illegal to do. That would be very pretty nice, I think. But until then, you're out of luck. Unless you're in Canada, aka the pinnacle of men's soccer in CONCACAF. I don't make the rules, I just read the standings. Are you willing to adopt a despondent Canucks fan into your fandom? Save me from this walking nightmare, please. I don't want to be that guy, but you're upset with your hockey team and the idea that you have for salvation is to cheer for the Leafs. Well, I'm for it. Welcome aboard. Yeah, you could always come on board. Jim Benning is a former Leaf. Ooh, this is a bad selling job. Ad has come on board. They've won 10 of their last 11. What happened before that? Don't worry about that. They win. Isn't that great? It is great. Welcome aboard. So. Whew, that is it for this one. I have no idea how long it is. Drew, how long is it? I'm sorry. We dropped a new Steve's Dang It's video on the Sportsnet YouTube channel today. I, I cannot believe how many people seem to love Dang It's. 150 to 200,000 views per video. You just like watching people screw up, I guess. This goes back to what I said at the beginning of the video. Also, brand new Chris Johnston show dropped today. Some 
spiciness in there about the Canucks. A new game over Montreal drop tonight from Andrew Berkshire talking about the Montreal Canadiens. If you're a Leaf fan, go there for the schadenfreude alone. And of course, brand new Steve Dangle podcast coming tomorrow on SDPN. And watch a Leafs game with Steve Dangle on Saturday on the Sportsnet YouTube channel. I'm a busy bee. Buzz, buzz. That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like to tell all your friends. I'm not allowed to go to another game until they lose. I, I really can't. I'm not allowed.